Thank you so much for checking out Animoto and how you can make stunning video that your clients are going to love with our service in really just 20 to 30 minutes and no video editing expertise whatsoever. To get started, I'd love to show you our user interface. This is what our website looks like. Once signed in, you can opt in to create a video. And as you'll see, we have tons of different video types. We are continually releasing different styles, so you always have a different aesthetic that you can choose from. I tend to choose the Animoto Original, which is our most classic and basic look. So once I opt into that, as you'll see, I am now in the image area where I can upload pictures and video, which is so perfect if you're shooting with a DSLR and you're capturing video during a lot of your sessions, but you're not quite sure what to do with it. This is the perfect tool. So you can upload JPEGs and GIFs from your hard drive to our site. Uh, and we also accept around 20 different video formats as well. So whether you're with a Canon 5D Mark II or even an HD flip cam, you'll be able to upload to Animoto. If you already have your assets uploaded in any of these sites, you can also just push them over to Animoto so you don't have to re-upload. I already have a project waiting for us, so let's get started. This is what it looks like once you have your images and your video uploaded. It's in this interface where you can move around the images in the order you'd like them to appear in the video. As you'll see, I can make some of these pictures have a yellow highlight around them. And what that is, that's our spotlight feature, which tells our system this image is so important to me that I want the system to keep it on the screen longer in the video. This T right here is for text. You can add important messaging. If it's a portrait session you're shooting, for instance, you can always enter the name of the client or a wedding, put the date of the wedding and the couple's name. And as you can see, we uploaded some video as well. You can upload up to 10 second clips per video upload. This one's a little shy of that, um, but you can choose the length that you'd like it to be. If you captured audio in your video, you can include it or not, up to you. Um, once you're finished with that, a really cool thing that I love to see photographers doing is start and end all their videos with their logo. Inevitably, your clients are going to love their videos and show them to their friends. And this is just a great way to get word of mouth marketing from your already current and happy clients. Once you're satisfied with the way everything looks in the image and video upload area, you can move on to music. And music is really the spine of Animoto. We analyze your song first and then decide how everything else is going to look with it. So when you're choosing your song, you're really choosing the style of the video. If it's a wedding one, for instance, you're probably going to want to try something that's very romantic and slow. And we have a wonderful romance genre for that. Um, we have a thousand commercially licensed songs that you can choose from for free all licensed for professional usage in, I think, a dozen different categories. So no matter the type of session you have, you're going to find the perfect song here. And if you already have your own music, you can upload an MP3 from your computer. So I chose a nice, slow song, and then I'm going to move on to the third step, which is the Finalize tab. As you'll see up here in the image pacing area, I'm able to decide if I want it at half, double, or normal speed. And this is great because while Animoto does analyze your song, so a slow song is going to give you a slow video, if you want it to be especially slow and mellow, you can half speed it as well. Or if you want to get as many images as you conceivably can in one video, double speed's probably your best bet. It's going to show the images very rapidly and great for high energy sessions uh, that you might have. I'm going to opt into the normal pace. And here the end of video button is a awesome tool that you're able to implement in Animoto videos where at the end of the video, a button will come up that links out to your website. You can say something like fan me on Facebook and then link out to your Facebook fan page or 
anything really, your blog, your website, whatever you want people to check out at the end of the video, you can. So once I'm finished with that, I'm going to move on. I already named the video. And a really awesome component of Animoda Pro is that you're able to turn off the Animoda logo at the end of the video, along with the music video style credits as well. So it can be totally discreet. Your client won't know how you made the video. There will be no Animoto anywhere in it. And once you're satisfied with all your choices, you can go ahead and create your video. It takes about five to seven minutes per minute of video to get it at web quality. Here's how it looks on our website. And as you'll see, there's this video toolbox underneath here. Let's say you want to make some changes to the video. For instance, try a different song or perhaps switch out some of the images, add and delete some. You can always go in and edit it, in which case it'll bring up every single thing that you just worked on so you don't have to start out fresh. Another really cool feature is the ability to share the video on all of these different popular social networking sites. You can also share the link with clients as well. Um, embed it to your blog or website. Every single video gets a, an embed code. And uh, we even have a thing called a one-click remix. So if you love the way the video looks but you just want to see different motion design applied to it, click this and you'll get an entirely different video. You can also do one-click exporting to YouTube and SmugMug if you want your video to be public on those sites as well. This is the call to action button that I referred to earlier. So as you'll see, whenever the video is paused or at the end, a button will come up. And that will have any messaging you included while prepping the video. And when you click on it, it brings you to whatever website you want the viewer to go to. So it's really a great marketing mechanism to get people on your site. Let's say you want to share the video with a client online and not have them know it's Animoto. As you can see, I'm watching the video now on Animoto. It's very blatantly has our logo right there. We have what we call an unbranded video player for that purpose. As you'll see up here, Animoto.com is not present at all in the URL, nor is the Animoto logo on this page. So this is really great if you just want to link out the video to your client or to a potential client, and they can see what your work's about and not know how you made the video. Um, another key point is, as you'll note, you're able to stream it in HQ, uh, which is a higher quality than our uh, normal quote unquote web quality. If you'd like to download the video at high res, you can do that as well. This button, the high res upgrade, allows you to get the video in high resolution um, free high-res upgrades with the pro account so you're able to up-res as many videos as you'd like. They come in both an mp4 format which you can see right here. This is playable on both, P both PCs and Macs as well as uploadable to pretty much any website that allows for video uploads. It also comes in an ISO format which you can burn to DVD uh, a lot of photographers resell these videos, and you can certainly do that with the ISO format. I know Facebook is a huge marketing tool for a lot of photographers. Everyone's on Facebook, you know, current clients, past clients, potential clients. And what a lot of photographers do, like this studio, is they post videos of sessions or of promotions that they're doing. And as you can see here, People comment on them and it just creates a lot of buzz. So whether selling the videos, using them for marketing, putting them on your website and sharing them with the clients, there's just so much that you can do with Animoto. Uh, as you have seen in the last few minutes, it doesn't really require much time or expertise. And Animoto is also incredibly versatile. So when you're choosing the song, you're going to get a totally different video 
when it's a high energy song like this than the previous one where it was mellow and slow. So no matter the type of session you're shooting, you're going to get a high quality customized video in just a few minutes that you're able to sell or market yourself with. So I hope you have a great understanding of Animoto now. And if you have any questions, you can check out our website or go to animoto.com slash, slash photography to uh, learn more. And thank you so much. Bye.